My name is George Bull, and I'm from Effingham, New Hampshire. Okay, this is a 1990 Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300L. This was originally an ambulance. Um, I kind of repurposed it into a camper. So it's pretty basic, it's pretty stock. I haven't done any off-road modifications to it. And I basically made an overland vehicle in a weekend with it. I got into Unimogs when I was overlanding in a Land Rover. I was doing a Trans Africa and I realized I needed something just a little bigger, a little more capable, and that's what got me into Unimogs. The biggest challenge with overlanding with a Unimog is the size, and size is always a challenge for everybody. So when you've got kind of a small vehicle, you're always wishing you had a bigger vehicle. When you've got a big vehicle, you're wishing you had a smaller vehicle. So you've got to take into account if you're gonna really get off the beaten path and go down Jeep trails and stuff like that. Sometimes I gotta really kind of squeeze through. With one of the Unimogs that I had, I was in uh, Botswana and it was shaking. And when my wife and I looked out, there was an elephant scratching its back on the truck and just shaking the whole truck. And that's how we kind of woke up and his eye was like right in looking in to see what was going on and the nose was, was kind of hanging around. So that was, that was pretty memorable. The thing about a Unimog in, in this vehicle, which makes it really nice as an overland vehicle, is that it definitely, you know, it, everything flexes, everything moves. It really works with the terrain. It really, um, it doesn't fight things. And it actually also kind of makes it comfortable on road. It's a little bit of a slow vehicle. When you're on road, once you get off road, it's actually one of the fastest vehicles you can use. I've got a website, Unimog, Center.com has a lot of information on these vehicles. So if you're interested in just learning more about Unimogs, there's all kind of information. It's a good jumping off point.